Hi, this is Paulo from DMB Academy, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make hover bases like the ones in the track Back to the Rave by Gusto, DLR, and Molecular. So, this is the original track. And this is the base we're going to be making. Now, I know it's not exactly the same, but the tips shown in this video will set you up to make a lot of different hover bases and you will learn all the necessary principles for you to start creating your own unique hover bases. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initial dispatch. We're going to be playing D sharp. And the first time that you try to make a hover bass is a little bit tricky, mainly because it sounds simple, but it is complex because you don't know how to make it, <laughs> but then you learn how to make it and you learn that it's really simple, but it's just two main techniques what make the sound. So this sound is based around saw waves, very detuned ones, like this. And now the thing that separates you from being able to make this sound is learning that it involves a specific harmony. So for example, adding fifths and different octaves like this and the fact that you have to learn how to play around with the pitch when making these. So we're going to add LFO number two here and send it into a global master tuning. We're going to do 19 points and then we're going to bring this down like this. And so this is basically the bread and butter of hover bases because the pitch bend, it's going to be one of the main two pillars of the sound. So the first one is the harmonies. How you decide to harmonize your bass. And then how you decide to pitch it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just keep it simple. Do a fifth. And then we're going to make the main pitch envelope which is going to be something like this. And then we're going to add a second pitch envelope that is going to add a type of laser effect to the sound. So we're going to, again, do the same modulation and then just make this very, very short. Make sure that it's on uh, unipolar. And this is basically that laser that initial laser that happens in the sound. Cool. Now let's just process this a little bit and we'll come back into the oscillator section. So let's just add some hyper, some distortion, lots of chorus. Let's add a multi one compressor. And then let's add a reverb, boost this. Bring the decay down, bring the size down. And now here is the interesting thing. Depending on how you pitch this, is a different um, expression of the hover bass. And then the harmonics that you decide to use are also very, very important. So for example, let's say that instead of the saw wave, we decide to use a sine wave. Uh, down here and we distort that we're gonna get a different sound and different waveforms give us a different textures now also different harmonies so for example like a major third for example uh, followed by the fifth one octave up which will be a major chord sounds way different, as you can see. So these types of things, knowing how to play with the different harmonies and the different pitch envelopes,
is what makes your hover base unique. So I really want to show you how important it is to play with all of these harmonies in order to get a unique sound. Let's bring this distortion down. As you can hear, I'm getting a different sound just from changing uh, the pitch on, on these oscillators and then just changing or playing around a little bit with the pitch and you can just choose different waveforms and they're going to give you different harmonics because in theory like each wavetable or each waveform it's a series of harmonics that is playing essentially a chord so you can get very unique uh, hover bases this way so let's go back into the fifth so as you can see there's a lot of room uh, for experimentation here and then also the different reverbs that you use play a very important role in the tail of your hover bass. So I hope that this uh, gets you inspired into creating these types of uh, basses and understanding the two main factors that create these textures, such as the pitch envelopes and then the harmonies that go before those pitch envelopes. And yeah, that's it. That's how you make a hover basses like the ones in your track Back to the Rave by Gusto DLR and Molecular. If you like this video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to know when we for future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.